Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Polls close in just a couple minutes in today's primary election, and as expected, voter turnout has been light. At around 1230, just 164 voters had cast their ballots at the Elections Operations Center on South Walnut Street. That site includes seven precincts. About an hour later, election officials at Bloomington High School North said they had seen fewer than that number come through their doors. You can follow us online for live results, updates, and more at WTIUNews.org. Well, a leaked draft of a Supreme Court decision overturning the landmark Roe v. Wade case means abortion could become illegal in much of the U.S. and could end a nearly 50-year nationwide guarantee of a woman's right to an abortion. This is an earthquake. I mean, it never before has the Supreme Court um, rolled back uh, an individual personal right under the Constitution like this that people had been accustomed to for almost 50 years. Sanders says the reversal of Roe could lead states to file cases in which could overturn other current rights such as same-sex marriage. And Bloomington police arrested a 27-year-old man in connection with the April 23rd shooting at Kalau nightclub. Now, after reviewing video surveillance from inside the nightclub, officers identified Kayantre Washington of Bloomington as the shooter that left three people wounded. Detectives determined he was inside a residence in the 400 block of South Magnolia Court. He was transported to the Monroe County Jail and is facing several felony charges. Now, quick check of the weather forecast. First for tonight, slight chance of thunderstorms, lows down to 50. More rain in the five-day forecast, 69 by Thursday, 70 by Friday. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUNews.org.